You're still working your heaviness? No, I was just going through my old diaries. Sit, sit down. All my life is here. I started dirtying these pages when I was 14. This here. This is the period I spent in Bergamo, from 1899 to 1920. May I? Yeah. One of the happiest periods of my life. <laughs> the happiest period of my life. The period I spent with Bishop Rodini Tedeschi. There are some encounters in your life that just illuminate you. So when we're sad, they come back into our minds like, like a melody that follows us around. <laughs> but it doesn't distract us. <laughs> if only you knew how much we cared about each other. Rodini and myself. <laughs> and we never, ever told each other. Hmm? Men are so... Reserved? Yes. Like us. We were both aware of it. He once asked me to promise him something. Angelo, when my time comes, I want to hear it from you. Because you are the one I mostly care about. And the first I want to hold me at that moment. Father Loris, could you make me such a promise? Good morning, Your Holiness. Ah, Father Loris. I called you earlier. What took you so long? Aren't you cold? No, I'm not cold. It's so beautiful and so rare to see Rome covered in snow. <laughs> yeah. The dome of St. Peter's <laughs> looks like a Sukoto cake. <laughs> Did you go out today? No, no, I, I went to the chapel to pray, then I went to mail those I letters. I was uh, wondering why we still haven't had the results of the medical test. Hmm. I know it's difficult to keep that promise. But you have to. Uh, yes, it is. You know already. Forgive me. Uh, it's just so difficult. You have cancer, Your Holiness. Stomach cancer. No crying now. There's no time for that. You have to help me finish my work. The council. That's all I want. So much. 
Even if I work very hard, I'll, I'll never repay him. I can't even imagine going ahead without you. You won't have time to think of that. You are the secretary to a very busy pope. Did you prepare the letter for the Holy See? No, no, not yet. Go and do it now. Go. Oh.